Hello. It's Sunday at the church. The mountain. <laughs> I just flew up and down the mountain because I was so charged up from the parenting workshop, which was freaking phenomenal. Wow. It was amazing. Miraculous amazing. And I'm so grateful to have been able to hold that space and then pull on my hiking shoes and fly up the mountain and I feel so alive. We were talking about in the parenting workshop, among other things, we were talking about success and a new definition for success because the schools would have us think that success for our children means getting A's and B's and doing homework and turning it in. And I don't think that's success if your child's not happy and inspired. And we were talking about how inspired comes from the word in spirit. And if we think about team spirit, the sports teams, the school teams, Defeated in spirit. They can have a sad spirit. And then playing is not fun. And then even if they win, who cares? And it's drudgery. And the word educate has Greek roots and it means to pluck light from the ethers and bequeath it or bestow it to another individual. And children should be running to school because they can't wait to find out what teacher has to say that day because they want to receive that light. So we have to inspire them. I mean, we force them to go to school. They're our slave for 12 years. They have to go to a job that they maybe don't enjoy, that they maybe even hate. They get compared and downgraded. You're a C. You're below average. You're a D. You're an F. You're a failure. And they learn how to think that they're not good enough and that they're not doing enough in school. And then they carry that with them into life. And what if we did everything in spirit? What if everything we asked our children to do, what if we inspired them instead of forcing them and punishing them? What if we did it that way? And whether you're science-minded or spiritual or religious, it's a pretty big freaking miracle <laughs> to have a kid. I mean, honest to God, where did they come from? Even the scientific explanation is mind-blowing. I'm going to run out of batteries. Anyway... The only thing you have to do to be a good parent is to live an inspired life. And you will in turn automatically inspire your children. And I love you. And I hope you're having an amazing Sunday. Mwah.